Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Bioshock 2 because we're gonna play the Minerva's Den DLC. Probably one of the, well, best pieces of DLC available ever, created, ever. Because uh, this is an amazing piece of DLC. It's uh, about the central computing part of a Rapture, so the, uh, the area that, uh, well, from which the computers were designed, the uh, systems were designed that ran Rapture in the day. Uh, I'm not going to spoil too much, so uh, let's head in. We're going to take heart again and, uh, well, see you on the other side. So as usual, I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible and explain as much as I can without spoiling anything beforehand. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Subject Sigma is approaching Minerva's den. He must not reach the Thinker. Detonate the tunnel! So, Subject Sigma. And sometime later. So, we are in this DLC a separate, um, well, Alpha Stage Big Daddy. Called Subject Sigma. So aside from uh, Subject Delta, there were of course a lot of other experimental big daddies. And we are Subject Sigma. And we were just blown to pieces by a uh, Reed Wall. And he's gonna be our, uh, well pretty much our main antagonist for this, uh, well rather lengthy DLC. So here we go. Underwater again. I don't think there's anything behind me, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So let's head on further and see where we ended up. Because uh, we were heading towards the Tinker. Because the uh, Reedwall wanted to stop us. Hello, Mr. Sigma. Can you hear me? The name's Porter. Charles Milton Porter. Doc Tenenbaum tells me you're here to help us get the Thinker out of Rapture. It's not going to be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You should be able to get inside through an airlock. So CM Porter is going to be our guide through this DLC. So we're right outside Minerva's Den. And we're going to try and get towards the Tinker. So uh, things started out pretty bad. I'm just going to try and collect these uh, Atom Slugs because that gives us a bit of Atom to start with. Which is always handy. There we go. Up the stairs. And uh, right inside of uh, Minerva's Den. I haven't played Minerva's Den as much as I played the other games. Wow, textures. Textures are gone. Minerva's Den has been cut off from the rest of Rapture for some time. But not cut off from splicing. Don't let your guard down. The den's gone dark. But if you can reset the local power relay, I'll be able to get the juice flowing from here. Sounds like a plan. So, uh... C.M. Porter. I think his full name is Charles Milton Porter. And he's uh, here to help us out a bit because there's a few ways to go here. And of course, as usual, I don't want to miss anything. I think I played this one time. So the only time I've played it. Uh, so I am replaying this. Just to make things clear, I am replaying this. Uh, that's why I can give you a bit more information than... Well, I should be able to do a uh, blind playthrough. So, uh, here we go, our first audio diary. Mr. Porter, let me be the first to congratulate you on the founding of Rapture Central Computing. The great chain only grows stronger with each pair of hands laid upon it. I trust that you and I will choose to pull Rapture in the same direction. So a bit of an introduction, the founding of uh, central computing. So that's uh, Mr. Porter's main focus in this, uh, in, in Rapture itself. And that was Andrew Ryan, the creator of Rapture, uh, welcoming him to the family. Minerva's ra den, but mine has been scratched across Minerva. Minerva, of course, being the Roman goddess of wisdom. So very fitting. Welcome to Minerva's Den, the home of Rapture's high technology. And uh, Minerva's uh, 
Well, symbol is always an owl, so that's why uh, the owl is, uh, well, a frequent occurrence in this DLC, as is in the uh, in the icon for, uh, well, the, the, the logo for Minerva's Den. So keep out! We're welcomed again. We're always welcomed in Rapture. What steps into Minerva's Den? Potter's newest toy? He wants to think her for himself. Ah, but you see, old friend, the machine has chosen me. The machine has chosen me. So the Tinker is some sort of uh, artificial intelligence running central computing. So that's why he's calling it a machine. Property of Reed Wall, and there we go. That's of course the famous statue of the Tinker. Do I have anything else? No. I don't have the... There we go. I don't have the uh, Electrobolt or the Reed Smash wall. yet. He and I founded Rapture Central Computing together, but the greedy bastard pushed me out years ago. The splicers, the security. He pulls the strings in Minerva's den now. So they created Central Computing together, but uh, they apparently, well, very clearly split ways at a certain point. And, well, right now don't agree on each other's viewpoints, of course. So there, what's wrong with the textures today? I do apologize for that, I can't help that. Potter and I are partners, but he's wasting that machine. In off hours, I've been using it to predict the outcomes of baseball games, and it is incredibly accurate. Apply such equations to Rapture's markets. This thing is the money-making grail. But Potter, I have heard them feeding at recordings of his dead wife. The fool wants to turn the thinker into a person. I could not imagine a sadder fate for such a perfect machine. So Porter started feeding the Tinker recordings of his dead wife. So that's another thing we just discovered about Porter. His wife died and he tried to, well, console himself by making the Tinker into his wife. Which is kind of creepy, if you ask me. Uh, understandable, but still... Rather creepy. So let's try and... Ooh, look at that. The Ion Laser, our first weapon. And it's a new one for Bioshock. And it's, well, shoots laser beams. A continuous laser beam that I can keep firing if I want to. So let's stock up and then activate the lighting control. Look at you, Sigma. You think that Porter is your ally. But the Thinker knows better. The Thinker knows. The Tinker knows. And it's a pretty powerful weapon, as you can see. There we go. Two spider splices down. That should tip things in our favor. Head up to my office in the executive wing. I've got something you'll need. Hurry now. Just trying to m remember most of the controls, especially the health kit, which I just used, which is good. And now let's see where we can go. Reception. I'd like that. Thank you. What was that? Oop. There's a, there's a camera right there. Let's try and hack this thing. One, two, three. Easy peasy. Thank you very much. So that's our camera right now. Health kit, always handy. And uh, let's see what this is, because this might come in handy. Security command. There we go, take control of uh, security bots. We've seen all that, I'm not going to show you that again. Um, there are a few collectibles in here. There we go, those are the collectibles. Because you can destroy the vacuum bots in Manova's den. Which is one of the trophies as well, I think. So five bolts of them are strewn Those around. Those bots sucked up all sorts of things before they went on the fritz. Crack one open, and you might find something you can use. Why did that man explode? Hmm. That might be a good way to, uh... Do that. There we go. And that should take out the bolt as well, which is handy. And now it should be my bolt. Really, really careful. There we go. 
more damage. Okay, there we go. That was quite smart because we have less uh, stuff to start with because Electro Bolt is a bit handier to take out enemies, but we uh, are forced to deal with the splices in a different way now that we start out with a different power set. A rocket security bolt. <laughs> no. There we go. Two splices, and I think there's a camera over there as well. So let's just search around a bit. Maybe switch to the drill if I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, there's a camera right over there. Don't think it spots my bolts. Otherwise, that would have been bad. And it doesn't see me right underneath. It's ass. There we go. And a longer alarm. There we go. More potato chips for me. Let's search the splices and see where else we need to go. Because I'm not actually really sure if I'm going the right way at the moment. Just want to explore every inch of this place. Because this DLC is good for a number of reasons. It's, it's kind of the entire main game, but fast forwarded. So that's why we got a new power already. Uh, and I think right over here, yeah, we got another weapon. So this is the spear gun. We get that immediately now as well. The thinker's perfect equation has predicted your every move, Sigma. It knew you would be here. It knows where you will be next. And it knows that you will fail. That we will fail. But if is that really true? Because, of course, this is a game. Wall's become obsessed with perfecting his predictive equation. Okay. The thinker can do plenty, but tell the future? No. The splicing drove him. Mad. Wall can rot here in rapture for all I care. We'll make a copy of the thinker and return it to the land. Of Shit, the that's a problem. Where's the security alarm? There's a security alarm. Let's just turn that off. Was that even free? That was weird. Jesus. Stop firing at me, please. Did you know that the thinker processes the There's a spear here, there we go. On the spear gun. Let's continue taking a look around. The thinker works hard for rapture indeed. Ooh, I'm upsetting the spear in your face. Reversing Adam's sickness. Here we go. Adam is a predatory substance. After exposure. A constant supply is required to maintain its effects. Otherwise, the user deteriorates into madness. My plasmid, which releases the little ones from their servitude, is promising, but limited. It only works on the children with the slugs in their bellies. On an adult splicer or big daddy, you'll see rejection effect. Undesirable. But... If the deterioration of mind and body were reversible, if Adam's sickness could be cured, then its predatory nature would be no more. There we go. If it were to be reversed, that would be uh, that would mean that Adam wouldn't be so so addictive anymore. So careful, hacker. You have picked up your first gene tonic. With careful hacking machines, will all move a little slower, giving you plenty of time to subvert their inner workings. The same as in the main game, of course, because we're gonna mostly see. Uh... No, no, Jesus! These guys hit hard on uh, on hard. Let's just go for the spear gun now. There we go. Hey, hey, no. So because this is central computing, there's a lot more splices that have bolts, which is of course in our uh, works in our favor, because we can. Uh, Take those, those to be our own. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Because I hear another splicer. Let's just take this explosive barrel. Curious. Where? What? Okay. There we go. In the face. For some reason that barrel well flew past them and didn't even activate. Didn't ex explode, so it must have disappeared into the ether there we go two more two extra items Ooh, rocket spears because rocket spears are of course awesome 
Because we've used them a few times in the uh, main game. But that's pretty much it. So a bit more lore in uh, this area. And we got a few rocket spears out of that as well. So let's take this health kit that I apparently missed the first time. And I think that's it for this area. Well, there might be another bolt here, but we're coming uh, back to this anyway. Because uh, right over there is something we can't access yet. That's a special kind of room we're going to need something else for. Uh, and we can't do that just yet. So I've been in there. Did I check everything? So yeah, let's go to the office of uh, Mr. Porter and check out what we can find over there. Ooh, boardroom. I want to check that out as well. Let's hack this thing now. Thank you for the bandages. Definitely can use that. Maybe a bit more laser cells because I'm running out of those. Um, can I open this already? The Tinker knows. What the hell is that now? This is horrible. Let's check out the corpse. The predictive equation. Dollars and cents are... No, the, the, the numbers spiral out. They touch everything. Hidden within them lies a predictive algorithm for you, for me, for the destiny of the base allele to the stretch of a galaxy's arm. The thinker is destined to give birth to that crystalline equation which determines all. I thought I knew its true purpose before. I thought Porter was the fool. Now I see. So there we go. Um, Mr. Porter was the one that created the Tinker and of course Reed Wall saw the opportunity in that. But then he started looking further in what the Tinker was capable of and he realized that there's a lot more to uh, the Tinker than he initially anticipated. Um, not really sure where I am right now. It's a tool dispenser. Remote hack dart. Ah, that is good. That is good. That means that the hack... The hack tool is here somewhere, I think. Why is this here? There it is. There it is. We got the hack tool, with which we can hack things from that afar. Hack tool should come in handy. Head back up to my office. But we haven't been at your office yet, so that's interesting. So they shut down the door now, so uh, that's why we need to hack things from afar. Two, three, and there we go. Minerva's den is mine. You think you can hack your way to the Tinker? <laughs> You're welcome to try. This door doesn't seem to open, so I'm just gonna try and uh, go back. Because Porter told us to go back to his office and Reed Wall doesn't seem pleased that we now have the hack tool. There we go. Triple headshot. That... Took a lot of me, Jesus. Oh, and there's an Adam's Lug here. Totally missed that. There we go. Can I hack this thing? No. I can't. So, moving on. Moving on to uh, Mr. Porter's office. Might actually need to heal there, but... Left. Right. Nothing here. Office of Charles Milton Porter. I keep hearing... Uh, a camera, but that's locked. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Use your hack tool to spring open the door. That crack in the window looks big enough to get a dart through. There we go. One, two, three. Open the door for me. There we go. More stuff to loot. Because the spear ammo is very valuable at this point. Because it's our easiest way to uh, take care of splices. I have two security bolts, so that's why I couldn't uh, hack that last one. Look at this. Minerva Zen. It's been a while since I've played this, played this last time. haven't gotten into my office thanks to the Thinker's security. I'm giving you top level access now. Alright? Beginning scan. Okay, I'm ready to be scanned. Hi. So 
So hello, Tinker. And thank you for that invitation. Sorry I can't be there to meet you in person. You've seen the state of the den these days. It's the Thinker that's important now, though. I need you to get to the computer core and print a hard copy of the Thinker's machine code. Core accesses and operations. There's an ops access punch card hidden in the compartment under my desk there. Grab the card and head for ops. So we need to try and reboot the Tinker, but it's supposed to be underneath his, uh, his desk. There we go. Eye-catching panel. <laughs> Not that eye-catching, but yeah, because normally it wouldn't be glowing, of course. Operations, access, punch card, a few laser cells and doors. Your time is done, friend. And now you collude with this traitor to steal the Thinker away from me? <laughs> Sigma must be removed from the equation. Is that true? Thinker, deploy office defenses. There we go. A rocket spear that keeps him immo immobilized. There we go. Let's keep doing that and let the bolts do the work. There we go. Up oh, his butt or no? Yeah, he's gonna die from the healing uh, over there. Goodbye, goodbye. Wall. He was a brilliant engineer. We saw eye to eye once, long ago, but the splicing made him paranoid, delusional. He'd murder us both to keep the thinker Ooh, here. That wasn't time. Paranoid. Walking Inferno, the holders plasmid in uh, Rapture. You take less damage from fire and inflict more damage when you use fire. So that includes uh, incendiary ammo, such as the, uh, well, the thermal cells. So, this thing. Thermal cells. I'm just gonna equip, equip this for now, because thermal cells are really, really effective against uh, splicers. Thank you for all that money. I'm gonna have to start spending that. I always forget to spend the money I gather, because there's quite a bit of money in uh, Rapture left. So, we have our objective. Uh, let's go and take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Terminal cell for the win. There we go, on fire. There we go. Taken care of easily. What was that? That was just me walking through the fire, probably. A dumbass. Okay, so we went into the corporate offices. We went into the boardroom. Which is good, because that means I can keep moving over here. Did we ever go up here? I don't think I did. I still don't have Electro Bolt. What is she talking about? There's a German splicer in here. Maybe I should just put a rocket spear in it. Boom! I'm gonna have to be careful here because I lose a lot of health against these guys. I think I might have exploded those two splices over here yeah they're a lovely couple aren't they both exploded when i blew up that uh, turret i can't actually hack right now i don't know why i did that why i didn't do that uh bandages anything else anything else come on give me something okay i'm clearly full up on uh drill fuel so let's just go in here Hello? I'm pretty well stocked at the moment, so I don't think I'm gonna find anything interesting. Laser cells, though. And then hack the safe carefully this time. And then maybe the blue one? The blue one? There we go. More money! More Eve hypos, because I'm not using a lot of my... Uh, my plasmids at the moment. Could have used, could have used uh, security command. Jesus! 
There we go. Hook in his face. Usually the fastest way to take uh, care of a spider splicer by using his own hooks against him. But I am wondering where all those uh, bots are because I needed to destroy the vacuum bots. But I don't remember all their positions. There we go. Do I have uh, enough to buy something? I can buy a gene ton tonic slot. That would be awesome, but I'm not going to do that. There we go. Taken care of. There's a lot of doors in here, but we came from over there on the right, so... Haven't opened up this door yet. Which just leads to the Vita Chamber. Oh, Jesus. Um... There we go. Can hack from a distance. Without putting myself into harm's way. And there we go. That's good. That is really, really good. And there's another tonic here. Sports boost. Of course, we're going to do that. Run a little faster. That's going to be good for now, is it? Uh, auto hack on the safe, as usual. I don't really care about anything else. You know what? Uh, I can use an Eve Hypo now like this. And get one more out of it. Um, let's go back to the normal laser cells. Does it have a... What the hell is this? Ah, oh, dollars. Okay. Saw something sticking out of there, but the textures were a bit uh, blurry. And there we go, another audio diary. The Tinker. Mr. Ryan hired me to build a computer that could keep an entire city running on time. The Rapture Operational Data Interpreter Network. Folks call it the Thinker for short. We've harnessed the power of Adam even in this, allowing the mainframe to process data at the speed of thought. In other words, it thinks for us. Yes. And with the completion of the independent reasoning processor, it may finally think for itself. If Turing could see me now. Turing, of course, being the man that designed the test to check whether a computer can mimic a human's or not. And the other interesting thing is that the name he uses for the Tinker originally, if you uh, abbreviate that, you get Rodin. Rodin, the of course, being the creator of the Tinker statue over there. Jesus. Couldn't your business benefit from that kind of power? Contact a... The Lancer is the most technically advanced big daddy that Rapture ever produced. Now it stands between you and the little sisters. And if there's anywhere that you'll need Atom to get by... It's Minerva's den. So yeah, there we go. Of course, a Bioshock game wouldn't be the same without uh, Big Daddies and Little Sisters. And there we go. Operations is where we need to go. Uh, and I think if I move towards this place, I might actually get cut off. Ah, oh, there we go. Hell. The maglock door's still active. It's regulated by the resistors plugged into that relay. If you can find a way to yank them out, magnets fail, doors open. There's a plasmid that could do the job. They called it Gravity Well. I've always found that funny, because that's of course a new plasmid, Gravity Well, we haven't seen that yet. But this door is managed by... According to the thinker's okay. records, the airtight archives warehouse supervisor had a shot of Gravity Well on hand. Getting into the archives warehouse, that'll be the fun part. So we can yank them out, but I always wondered why an electromagnetic lock had a gap above the doors. Because a normal human could jump up and climb over there, but that's really stupid. Because when we get gravity well, we're going to toss that over there and uh, yank out the uh, resistors that way. But that's it's a bit silly. It's a bit silly. Okay, so Big Daddy very, very angry, of course, as usual. Uh, but I'm gonna wait uh, to take out the Big Daddy when we get Electro Bolt, which shouldn't take too long anymore. Um, airtight Archives. So there we go. We need Electro Bolt to get into Airtight Archives. The door to the archives is shorted out. I'd check the McClendon Robotics Workshops for a shot of Electro Bolt. And that's why this is such a cool DLC. We get pretty much the entire... Uh, cycle you would go through in a normal Bioshock game, Your but really, really fast. You. And that's not Don't necessarily a bad thing. Because we get new powers constantly. Uh, remote hack dart. I want that. Thank you. You should have seen my face there. I was uh, a bit a bit afraid of that big daddy. 
But we needed to remote hack Dr. Cat to that door so we couldn't go to uh, McClendon Robotics just yet. Did I hack this thing? I did not. There we go. Ooh, potato chips, my favorite. Uh, nothing just yet. I'm gonna just hack all these things because that's gonna be uh, handy later on. Ow. Well, that hurt. And now I don't have any potato chips left. There we go. Full up on everything. Let's head over here. Another malfunctioning door. Door control. Your hack tool should get you into McClendon Robotics. And door hacks are always a lot easier than normal hacks. So, uh, next up, McClendon Robotics. And uh, with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys and for watching. When we get back, we're going to head into McClendon Robotics and try to get Electrobot, which should get us into the airtight archive. So uh, thank you guys and for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye.